Hey everyone, I'm Olivia Radcliffe and this is an Evening Crash Course. At this point, we've learned that Evening is a cost-effective and eco-friendly method for sterilizing medical devices and pharmaceuticals. But just how does eBeam achieve sterility? Today we're going to send you to the eBeam Services Ohio facility to find out. But viewer beware, you watch at your own risk. Welcome, we've been expecting you. I'll let the good doctor know you're here. So, you've come to learn about microbial death, have you? Well, that can certainly be arranged. <laughs> With the electron beam process, the electron beam causes the death of the microbe through the destruction of a vital molecule, such as the DNA, or through an indirect The higher the dose, the greater the kill! <laughs> Let me take you to the lab. Let us enter. And the e-beam sterilization process for medical devices and pharmaceuticals is strictly governed by ISO and USP standards. But if you need an experiment run in your lab and need your labware sterilized, we call that bioreduction. In the bioreduction process, we apply a general sterilization level dose, but the kill factor hasn't been validated, so we can't certify your product as sterile. Oh no! It's escaped! Quick! Run! Get out while you still can! You made it! Good! Well, hopefully you've learned a bit about e-beam sterilization. Now, sterilization is governed by strict ISO and USB standards and is used for products like surgical equipment and other medical devices. The bioreduction process, on the other hand, is used when you want to quote unquote sterilize product, but you don't need to market it as sterile, such as with some labware and cosmetics. For both sterilization and bioreduction though, the electrons cause microbial death, either as a result of the destruction of a vital molecule or through an indirect chemical reaction. Take care and we'll see you next time.